So we're talking about regenerative agriculture and this is an introduction to a short series of regenerative ag agriculture videos that are looking at some of the key principles. The first principle is minimize disturbance. The second principle is maximize diversity in the pasture or in the sward or in the crop. The third principle is about maintaining ground cover. The fourth principle is about maintaining living roots year round. The fifth principle is integrating livestock on the farm and the sixth principle is integrating trees. And we'll talk about each of these as we go through. But what is regenerative agriculture? So the agriculture that we've come to know has been so successful in increasing production worldwide and it has staved off famine in, 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 in a number of countries. And uh, the reason we have been so successful is because of the great tools that have developed to assist with our production. Fertilizers, herbicides, pesticides that protect our crops and stave off uh, the damaging impact of, uh, of predation by insects and the like. But uh, there is an ongoing discontent uh, in terms of what this, what these production methods mean for the quality of our food, for the health and safety of our food, for the health and safety of the environment and all of the creatures that we share uh, these wonderful environments with. Now it's important to stress that regenerative agriculture is not a system that's set up in, in uh, competition with conventional agriculture and nor is it intended to criticize any of the practices that of, of conventional agriculture. Rather, regenerative agriculture is, a, is we're trying to select the best parts of any production system and we're trying to marry them with what happens in nature, how natural production works in nature in terms of biodiversity stability, in terms of nutrient cycling. And we're trying to integrate these elements to provide a robust, resilient farming system going forward.